Hello guys, girls, hello guys, girls, and now my pals are going to do Harry Potter Ron Weasley's birthday. This is where your friend joins his boyfriend, which we're doing the Toroki Dumbledore series. Let's go. Fred, George, do you know your brother's birthday was today, March 1st? Ah, yes, you weren't there because of your mission that day. Yes, I felt bad. Fred looked at Tony. Are you alright? I mean, if I didn't go on a mission, I would have celebrated your family on George Ron's special day. Don't worry, how will we make this? What? Fred and George smiled. I have an idea, Fred said, smiling. I'll ask my family to throw a party for Ron on the second, even though I wasn't even there. Fred smiled. My mother loves you as a son, and even if you missed his, Ron's birthday at first, she'll maybe uh, make a little party for Ron today. You wouldn't, would you? Why would I? Fred said, smiling. Alright, saying a letter to his mother. Saying so he's already home. Got one back? George said, looking at the letter coming back. Looks like she wants us to get going. Going where? Toya said, look at him. You still have that present? Fred said, ask. And Toya, yeah. Come on, let's go. Toya picked up the present box. Wait, we're really doing this? Toya said, look at him, Fred and George. Yep, we're going to take him in with us. Where are we going? We're going to let Dumbledore fight it out. Don't worry about Dumbledore and McGonagall or Snape. We got a party to get to. Fred and George, Fred said, smiling. But, hey, everything's going to be fine. You say you didn't want to celebrate Ron's birthday. Well, let's get going, Fred said, smiling. To my side, I can't really well get out of this, am I? Nope, not at all. Once I got to... The Vural to his side. Well, I guess we're here. Yes, yes we are. George said, open the door. Come on in. Fred had said, grab into his head. But, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Fred said, smiling. George knew what to was going at. Don't worry. Mom and her big everything in the red and got the ready. So let's go. To his side. All right, fine. Once they got inside, Ron looked shocked. We're doing this again, Ron said. Guess who's here? Fred smiled. Wait, is that? Hi. Toy smiled. Toy, it's good to see you. Ron looked. That's why we're celebrating again. Molly smiled. So you finally came. Well, the mission took a while. Toy shook his head. But I guess... Well, I'm here today. Time to smile at the family, Weasley family. So, uh, Ron, here. Presents later, Toy. Oh, come on, M Miss Molly. Don't worry, let's celebrate. Toy smiled, alright. After everything, there was present time. Ron opened his family's presents and went to Toy's. Toy, what did you get him? Ginny asked. Ginny asked. I am not going to tell you. Once Ron opened it, I smiled. I kind of guess you might need this. Toy smiled. Ron smiled happily. Thank you, Ron said. Excited to see the present he always wanted. Well, you saw mine, so I thought I'd create your your. Use something that like an identical to my utility belt. Ron smiled joyfully. I finally got one, Ron said excitedly. I'm going to be a hero someday. Tony laughed in his head. Maybe one day, Ron, but not right now. Tony smiled and on. Friend George sighed. You had to get him a utility belt? What? He's inviting to try mine out, so why not give him his own? Besides, what we 
It's more Weasley Matic than I ever thought. Aw, you put Weasley stuff in, didn't you? Some of it. Tony said. Some safe stuff. So he doesn't hurt himself. Molly aside. Um, sighing hopefully. Ron doesn't hurt himself. Sigh, sigh, and sigh again. Thank you. She said, understanding that he totally cares for Ron's safety. Don't worry, he won't hurt himself. Totally smiled. Ron started playing with the detail about This is so cool, Ron said, excited. So, the way it's in it, Ron asked. Just your normal hero stuff and some jokes along the way. Jokes. You know, friend draws just things in case you want to drink them back. Ron smiled delightfully. I finally get to bring my brothers back, Ron said joyfully. Looking at them with a sinister look. You guys won't be pranking me when I got this. Friend George sighed. You had to put our jokes in then, did you? Only some of my own. Not mostly yours. But mostly all of my jokes that I would have done on you. Tony said, looking at both the boys. Oh no, he has to his ultimate weapons. In pranking. Fred said, looking at George. We're doomed. Fred said to George. So I said, boys, everything will be fine, I promise you. If he doesn't find the button for those pranks. Oh, thank God. Friend George thought at the same time. Don't you mean thank me? I didn't give him an instruction how to use it. You should have. Arthur thought. Don't worry, it's kind of a thank you making us in my sensing that gave me a... Explanation how he was a tail about. Tony said, look at it, Arthur. Just say, punch any button if it works. Just hope it ends in something weird. Tony looked to the side. Every single time I touched one, I went to a weird phase. Okay. Well, they thought, what was his Tony's master like? Don't worry, he is a good guy. Oh, I thought back to his master laughing at him every time he pressed the wrong button and something magical happened at the end. I hear a fight in Gadger's doo-wop went out. So, um, Ron, if you can't figure it out, just read this. Tony said no when the Weasley fan was gay at. He pulled out his master's old instruction manual, which also manifests as an instruction manual for the Ron's utility about. Thanks, Ron said, look at it. Why it in Old English? Ah, uh, sorry. My writing's Old English. Tony sighed. I guess I didn't give you the reason my English right in my old sorry, wrong one. Tony aside, pull given and take that back. Oops. Tony now pulling out the real one. Give it to Ron. Here, this is yours. It's the one that I want you to try to figure out. But I know what you use. Just follow the instructions. Write down what your gadget tool is. Oh, cool, thanks. Don't worry. From a master to a student, just try not to hurt yourself. Will do, Ron said, smiling. What was the old English writing? Back then I had only to write. The only thing I was good at was typing on the computer. To my side, looking to the side. Every teacher I ever had told me I had to use a computer. Never wanted to read old English and chicken writing. So they allowed to his head. Even though one teacher did like to read old chicken and old English writing, old chicken writing. They seemed to love it. So I remember that since I was reading his papers and reading his stories they wrote by pen and paper. That since I would always talk him into writing with pen and paper. I miss those days. 
Why? Because McGonagall even said grab your computer that one time? Uh, um, that was one time. She just got tired of reading Chicken Ryan. And I quote, I'm a little tired right now. I can't read your old English, Ray. I'm sorry. All the other times she read, oh, I read my old English, Ryan. What about Demodor? We don't talk about the old English Ray he had to read. And besides, that was in elementary school that the person had to read it on old English writing. So I said, looking back at it, when he was back in his own timeline. So, huh? Why do you ever feel like you want to go back to Japan? Fred asked, what do you mean? I mean, Fred said, getting close to him. Do you feel like going back to see Ray? I mean, yeah, I miss my mom, but I don't miss my dad. I miss my brothers and sisters, but my brothers and sister, but I don't miss anyone else. I do miss my uncles and aunts. It's only now I got emotional again. Hey, 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 it's going to be alright, Fred said, looking at him. No, it's not. I'm stuck here. You're safer here than out there with that... You know what? Yeah, I know. It's just... Tony, look at me. Domino, McGongle, and everyone else is here for you. Your mom and your brothers, your aunts and your uncles and your sister are there for you. They want you to have a good life. Fred said, smiling. We're here for you. My, Our family is here for you. Don't worry about it. Fred said, smiling. Kissing the top of his head. We love you. Both of them said at the same time. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.